grade and now in high school AP physics this is we're in chapter 6 we're in unit 6 6.1 Pascal's principle and guys we are out of Newtonian mechanics yay okay we are into something new we are in fluid mechanics so let's get it on okay first thing we're going to talk, take a look at is density guys anytime I'm talking about a fluid I'm talking about either a liquid or a gas okay something that flows okay so a liquid or gas a fluid and all different fluids have density which means they have mass over volume mass divided by volume and that is the symbol for density is this funky looking p thing okay that's called a i think it's called a rho um in in uh in greek and uh but that's greek to me i don't even know but it's mass over volume density equals mass over volume and so it is in units of kilograms per meter cubed. Kilograms is the units of, of mass. Meters cubed is the units of volume. Okay, Please keep this separate from chemistry where we have grams per milliliter. We're going to be doing kilograms per meter cubed. And if we want to find the specific gravity of something, it, specific gravity is just a ratio. Okay, There's no units on it. It's just a ratio. It's the density of your substance over the density of your water. Okay, and like something like uh, something like water would have salt water would have a higher density. Okay, because there's a density of the substance over the density of the water. And something that you want to know is the density of water will always be given to you. It's a thousand kilograms per meter cubed, or one time ten to the third, one e to the third, one e three kilograms per meter cubed, and that is the density of water. And this density creates a pressure. Okay, creates a pressure. And where pressure comes from is pressure comes from the force of something, either the force of a gas or the force of a fluid, over area. Force over area. So that is in units of newtons. Force is in newtons per meter squared. Area, of course, is meter squared. Or sometimes we just call this pascals, PA for pascals. Okay, it's just easier than doing newtons per meter squared. Okay? And at sea level, you have to know the atmospheric pressure, this was, will also be given to you, the atmospheric pressure, is 1 times 10 to the 5th, or 1 E5 pascals. 1 times 10 to the 5th newtons per meter squared. Pretty easy. Okay? And so these are nice, easy numbers for us, and we have a nice, easy formula for Pascal's principle. And anytime you think of Pascal's principle, think of pressure, because Pascal's principle and pressure, they all start with the letter P. And so we have pressure is equal to force over area, but it's also equal to rho g h. Rho is density, g is gravity, of course, 9.8, and h is height, h is height. And what I want to show you is, like, let's say you have a guy, a miniature guy that has been uh, just, like, let's say it's Kenneth Chu that has been um, just just shrunk down into size and put in this beaker. And so we're trying to drown him or something, okay? He feels a pressure from the water because he feels all of this height of the water that's on top of his head, all of this from here to here, this height of this water, and the density of the water, like if he was just in water, he would be feeling a thousand um, kilograms per meters cubed on top of him of the water, and that water has weight, of course, and that's why we multiply it by gravity. Okay, this is really like mass times gravity times times height, which is potential energy, isn't it? Okay, so it's the potential of the liquid that's on him. But if we put him in maple syrup, guess what? His head gets even more crushed because that is a higher and higher and higher density, which means more and more and more pressure on his head, and hopefully he wants a different size head to reduce some of that pressure. Now, it doesn't matter if he's here or here or here. It doesn't matter where he is in this beaker. As long as he's at the same height, he's feeling the same pressure. Okay, But he's not only feeling the pressure of the liquid or the fluid, he is also feeling the pressure of the atmosphere as well, which means that is called absolute pressure. He not only feels the pressure of the, the fluid, but he also feels all of our air particles and the, the pressure that that has, which we call the atmospheric pressure, because those are pulled down by gravity as well. And so we would have to add that in, even though that's not really that small. Or, uh, that's not really that big, okay? The atmospheric pressure. And so this is Pascal's principle. Pressure equals force over area. It also equals rho g h. Rho g h. Now, something that I want you to see is, and hopefully you're starting to see this in every single one of your equations, you're going to see y is equal to m x plus 
B. And so what will we graph on our y-axis is, of course, pressure. What are we going to graph on our x-axis is height. And what's going to be our slope is whatever's left over, the rho times the g. Those are constants, aren't they? And so you can see the slope would be the density of the fluid times gravity. And the that would be the the picture of gauge pressure right there. And you can see right here on our second equation, if we have atmospheric pressure, now we have a y equals mx plus b, don't we? And so you can see we're going to graph still the pressure on our y-axis, still the on the x-axis the height or the depth, still our slope is going to be rho times g, both constants, but you can see where is going to be our y-intercept that would be the atmospheric pressure, 1 times 10 to the fifth. So it's the exact same slope, but it's raised up to a different y-intercept, not a y-intercept of 0. Guys, I hope this made sense. I'm going to have a Google Docs on for you guys. And so pressure equals force over area. It also equals rho gh, and it, that is in Pascal's. Have a great day, guys. See ya. Peace in the Middle East.